All right, guys, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Um, I woke up at about 4.30, you know, anxious to get on the road. Um, you know, I read a little bit of my Bible, uh, read a couple couple chapters. Um, that's a must before you do anything in the day. Um, and um, now we're ready to go. So, you know, we're, um, I- I'm here at Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I got my coffee, uh, got got some hash browns, and um, we're about to head on out. Um, I'm trying to delay a little bit because I want it to be a little light. Um, I got a little bit of time before the sunrise, but I'm anxious. I'm ready to get on the road. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, it's been since January since I've really been mobile. I've been in Pembroke Pines, and um, I'm ready to say Pembroke Pines goodbye. And, I, and and what better time than at five o'clock in the morning? Because this is before all the crazy craziness starts happening with um, with driving. So right now there's nobody's on nobody's on the road. Um, and uh, what better time to start driving than right now? Because you know if I drive. Two hours from now, it's going to be crowded. People are going to be cutting me off. And I'm probably going to be mad because people down here can't drive. So why not start the day off, right? Leave Pembroke Pines. Leave South Florida when there's no one on the road. So that way I leave it on good terms and, <laughs> and don't leave it being mad at uh, at South Florida. So that's it. We're about to about to hit the road, about to get, get it going. Here we go. 27. We're gonna take 27 South, 27 South down to um, Chrome Avenue. So here we are, US 27. Goodbye, Pines Boulevard. It's been fun. I can't say I've had too many fun times driving on Pines Boulevard, but Pines Boulevard has definitely had some fun times. I've um, had some good times on Pines Boulevard. But this is US 27. Um, straight ahead is what you would call the Everglades. So I'm going to take this US 27 down to Chrome Avenue. Chrome Avenue is going to take me through the Everglades a little bit more. And then once I get through uh, Chrome Avenue, I'm going to be turning onto my route that takes me through the Everglades. And I'll get you with that route number when I get there. It's the Everglades. Sun's come out. It's light out now. There ain't too much to see. A bit more to see when we get to stop. This is what the Everglades look like. I'm afraid of alligators popping out of every little corner. That's for sure. They said there's nothing to be afraid of. But I don't trust it. Look what I just came across. Little baby alligator right there. I looked over as I was walking right by it. Looked over and there's an alligator sitting right there. I think I could handle that alligator. <laughs> but, um... That thing... Oh, man. See how fast that thing moves? That's what they say. They say they're scared. They say they're more afraid of us than we are of them. But, you know, I'm not from Florida. Um, you can call me a sissy. I know people, some of my Florida people are looking at this and they're going, oh, Eddie's a sissy. Dang right. I ain't getting bit by no alligator. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't know about the wildlife down here. I mean, I, I know what I hear, but I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, I know about the wildlife where I'm from. You know, I know there's things that people be afraid of that I'm not so much afraid of and or I, that, I know that I need to be afraid of. Um, so, but I'm not, I, I didn't grow up in Florida. I never had a uh, alligator, dealing with alligators wasn't a uh, daily thing i mean i or ever i never really we went to florida but we never really went to a campground everglades or anything like that we normally stayed in the i guess the tourist areas disney world I remember going to fort lauderdale tampa um Sanibel island stuff like that um but never really out in the boonies 
where there was alligators. So I really haven't dealed with alligators. So you hear a lot of stories and, you know, I know they are capable of killing you. I know that it's very rare. But, um, you know, if there's a big animal with them, some teeth that can maul me up and either kill me or, you know, have some something in their mouth that uh, causes an infection that, that could uh, severely injure me or kill me. Uh, I could lose a limb. I'm, I mean, I'm going to avoid that animal just in case. You know, I mean, I know that, like, I, I'm not afraid to swim in the ocean because there's sharks there. But if I know there's a shark in the water, I'm not going to get in the water. So, I mean, if I see an alligator, I'm not going to go up to it and kick it or something, you know. So. Yep. That's about it. I'm going to chill here. Read a little bit. And then um, maybe make myself a lunch. And then I'm going to head on up because I can't camp here, unfortunately. This place is cool. Apparently there's alligators, apes and stuff. Such things. Except keep <laughs> keep everybody updated up uh up home, you know. Where's home? Um, but I'm from Maryland. I'm used to. I might be plenty well fed. Okay. So how much do you think he weighs? I couldn't tell you, but I'm sure it's a couple hundred pounds. Gotcha. Everglades City, some of these raised up houses on uh, stilts. Um, I just passed Everglades City. Uh, I'm headed down a little south. I guess I'm still in Everglades City. But it's a pretty cool looking town. I'll show you guys a little bit more of it a little bit later. Hey guys, I drove out to Naples. Um, I'm in Naples now, so checking it out. Um, trying to find the beach. And I might go swim on the beach and we'll see what happens. I'm about to go to the beach. Um, haven't seen it yet, so. But um, everything in here is pretty awesome. I mean, Naples is a pretty awesome town. I, I, everybody, my mom was always telling me about how nice the Gulf Coast is. Look at this guy. Um, but this is the beach out here. Um, I know Gulf Coast, they don't have any waves or anything like that. But, uh, we're about to see it. About to walk over here. Just beyond these trees is the beach, apparently. So the signs say. City of Naples Beach. Boom. Here we go. Pretty awesome. No waves. The water's kind of cold. I don't know if I really want to go in. Um, it's kind of cold. Ooh, it's a little cold, but um, it's nice though. It's, it's different because it's calm um, compared to the uh, compared to. The, the eastern shore I mean the the eastern side the Atlantic Ocean this is the Gulf the Gulf is uh kind of cold too yeah I'm not gonna really go diving in today it's a not a hot day so I'm gonna let me get out of here I'm kind of freezing when they got up to my knees <laughs> but this is Naples Beach it's nice definitely nice I'm about to walk out on this pier Dolphin just jumped right out of the water. Oh, right there. You saw that? There they are. 
you see the uh, town way up there? Um, I don't know what that is, but that's some type of city. I'm trying to see if this dolphin will jump out again. There we are, right there. Got it on camera. Look at him. I've seen dolphins jump out a million times, but I've never seen them like that. Oh, playing with something. So I missed the sunset. Still pretty cool looking. Everybody comes after this. So. What's up guys, so day number one over, um, I'm just finishing up about to go to sleep, um, I'm gonna edit this video and, um, and, uh, then I'm gonna, you know, read a little bit and, um, go to sleep, so, um, you know, day number one is over, um, I made it to Naples, so we got out, you know, Everglades, I was planning on staying on the Everglades originally, but, you know, now we're, um, we're, uh, staying in the, uh, I, now I'm in Naples. I just got a little anxious and just drove a little bit more. So, you know, that'll put us ahead a little bit. Um, and we'll see. I think that I'm going to be able to cut maybe four days into two or three um, or two and a half. And, um, you know, I'm not I'm not in a rush, but I, I, I also am in a rush, you know. Um, I don't have a deadline, but, um, you know, I like I, I miss people at home and I like to get home. You guys are probably thinking, like, what the heck is, how, where am I standing right now? I'm standing in the van. Um, I just turned this light on right here on the side of the van. So I'm just using that light. I'm kind of, like, standing where the light hits the best. Uh, I didn't turn on too many lights, but I'm editing. I'm editing right now. And um, oh, this is where I'm parked. Let me turn this light off. I'll show you guys where I'm parked. Um. So I'm right here, right in, like, the heart of Naples, really. Um, right over here is, like, the, the main street. There's a lot of, that's where um, I was showing you guys. There's a lot of really nice restaurants and all down there. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to stay here, and I didn't see it. There's no signs. It looks like I can park here. Um, I'll probably get up nice and early like I did. I got up at 4.30, and... Um, I like doing that, um, and I'm probably going to ride out the Sanibel, um, but we'll see what happens, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.